Rat tails are designed for tying flies. We're going to show you how to turn this into a stonefly. Fly fish food. Okay, so I've been playing with the stonefly pattern uh, just out of three materials. We're going to use this exoskin, which is very estrechy. It's just latex. Um, and so this pattern is, is kind of cool because the, the fly has a natural segmentation and you just use the same piece of, of material for the body or for the for the wing case as you do the body. So check it out, pretty simple pattern. All right, so this fly is, is pretty basic actually. It looks like it's pretty complicated, but it's, it's not too bad. So I've, I've got the new Fulling Mill Competition Heavyweight hook on uh, in the vise, a size four millimeter bead. Um, and I'm just going to start with some 70 denier thread and kind of push the bead up so that the the bulk of the bead is on top of the hook. It's going to pretty much even itself out, but you know, even if this fly does ride upside down, stone flies tumble quite a bit when they're when they're drifting, so it's not going to be a big deal. So there we go. We've we've got the 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 bead seated exactly where I want it. The tails for this fly are just going to be this daddy long legs material. It's a very very fine thin material and um, when I first showed pictures of this fly people thought it was much bigger than it really is but you can tie this fly down to probably a, a 14 or 16 and still have it proportionate. <coughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie one leg on one side of the hook and I'm going to kind of stretch it and pull it down so that kicks off the near side of the hook and now I'm going to take the other leg and pull it tight and wrap it down to the other side as well. Okay, so this is exoskin. It's basically just a, a latex skin. It's kind of a thicker material so that when you wrap it, it's got good segmentation. It's very stretchy. So I've cut off a piece that looks about like that. I don't know how long that is. Oh, by the way, I'm going to trim up these tails, but not as short as I want them on the final fly because I'm going to use the length of those to, um, to color them up, add some bars. Um, so with this latex or the exoskin, I'm going to cut it to a point and I'm going to take the point and I'm going to tie that in right behind the bead. And from here I can pull and stretch that uh, latex material and wrap it all the way down to the legs. So from here I'm going to build up a bit of a taper. I just Unwinded, unwound my thread so that it's somewhat flat, but it doesn't really matter because we're covering this all up. So we have a little bit of a taper, and from here I'm just going to take this skin and I'm going to wrap it up the body. I'm going to pull it pretty tight for the first few wraps, and then I'm going to let off the tension as I go forward so you can see it's creating a nice segmentation. Make sure my legs stay where they're supposed to. So I'm going to just go up about to right here and now when you tie that off you need to capture the latex on top of the hook shank because I'm going to use that same piece for the wing case. So I'm going to take my thread and just advance it back and I'll pull that latex back now. And create a little bit of a, a space for a thorax. I'll probably make the thorax a little bit longer than that even. All right, so there we go. From here, I'm going to take just some dubbing. I'm using the, the Life Cycle Stonefly dub. This is for, uh, it's, it's called Actually, it's not stonefly. It's ginger nymph. Shout out to all the gingers in the world. Wear sunscreen. We want to keep you around, guys. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of dubbing.
And this dubbing is just kind of a mix of Rabbit and Antron and some other good bits, but it has a little bit of sheen in it. But I'm going to make a pretty thin dubbing noodle and just cover up that thread, go all the way forward, and then I'm going to want to end up with my, th my thread right in the middle of this. So from here I'm going to keep wrapping so that I create a very thin band of thread right in the middle of that thorax. And from here I'm going to take the daddy long legs, I'll fold it in half and just tie it in right on top so that I can pull two of those one way and two the other way. So it looks like this, essentially putting rubber legs on this nymph. You can do that with any fly, that any, any nymph that has rubber legs on it. So I won't quite trim that yet. Get those nice and snug. And now I'll take more dubbing and cover up that thread. And then wrap it forward to the bead. Okay, so we've got a thorax with some rubber legs, and I'll take those, trim those out of the way. And now with this wing case, I could pull it really tight, but the more I pull it, the thinner it gets. So I'm going to kind of pull it a little bit and then catch it right behind the bead, just with a few wraps and then a few wraps in front of it. And from here, I'm going to pull it somewhat tight and trim it and that will pull the excess latex right da back down behind the bead and I'll be able to cover those up with some thread wraps as well. From here I'll whip finish but we're not done. Got to keep watching the video. Now's where the magic comes in. Okay, so we've got really long legs on this nymph. That's on purpose. Helps us out for what we're going to do now. So I've got just a regular Sharpie. I actually Curtis bought the ones with the little tiny ends because Brigham's a diva and he asked for these. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm kind of all hands. So I'm going to make a stripe down the, the back of the fly. And I'll make a stripe on the sides. If you've seen a stonefly, they kind of have a mottled back a little bit. And then one stripe right down the middle of the fly. Kind of gives it a little bit more bugginess. Um, and then the most important part is adding the bars to the legs. So I'm going to take the big part of the Sharpie. I'll take those legs and pull them down. And I'm just going to take the Sharpie and roll the legs with the Sharpie as I go down the leg and it will color both sides of the leg with Sharpie material. So we're making r really fine little bands. Sorry, I gotta put my hand on this side of the vise for this one, but you guys get the picture. Okay, now from here, I'll just get those tails snip them off roughly the same length. And now for the, the thorax, I'm just going to push those rubber legs forward, trim them off about right there, and that will trim them all the same length. So you can just fish it just like this. What I've been doing is adding a little bit of resin right on the top of the fly. Just like that, there you have it. It's a little bit of a, a latex stone. And as you can see, the body on this, even though it's a brown, has some UV qualities. So if you have the type of fish that actually see UV, they're gonna really like this fly. Sam, turn the off frozen, we're recording. Seriously. Sam, we're literally recording. Oh my gosh.